Good morning and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! We are back in Zoodesia after that amazing world traveling adventure to tour and see all of the fantastic, amazing, awesome trees that you guys have planted throughout our world. I love it! I love it! And the biggest tree is yet to come! If you guys recall, we do have Sunflower's Perch that we're going to be adding to the zoo soon and it's going to be made out of a sacred sapling, just like the Tree of Illumination. However, we have a little bit of a problem to deal with before we can plant our sacred sapling and work on building sunflower a lovely perch and in fact that problem just got a little bit more complicated so let me show you guys what's been going on mm, good morning lily good morning tate how are you two doing you want a little bit of breakfast here's that here's that who's my good pup-ups who's my good puppies yeah you guys are such good dogs uh, and then i'll get a little bit of breakfast with of a yummy delicious apple myself but well you guys Right over here where we moved to the barn uh, is where I want to put Sunflower's future perch. Hello Sunflower! There she is, kind of scoping the area out. Because what we'll basically do is we'll have a safe place to leave her up at her little perch um, in a sacred sapling. We're going to build her like a little nest inside of a giant sacred sapling. And we want to have a safe place to leave her, but this place is no longer safe. This place is no longer safe at all. Mm -hmm. Do you, okay, count with me. We have the usual pepper, 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 and pepper. And then we've got one, two, three quagga. We no longer have four quagga because when I was coming back from the horse meadows, it got to be night. And so I'm just like, do, 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 walking down here, going through our little sunflower pavilion there. And then over here, horrifically, terrifyingly, was a werewolf. A werewolf eating one of our beautiful quagga. So Peace Vine, unfortunately, was eaten by a wolf, which is, it was it was rather traumatic. And I was like, no, no, not my quagga. And so then I went after him and I defeated him with the pinkinator. But it was too late. Just as I delivered the final killing blow with the pinkinator, he finished killing Peace Vine. So rest in peace, Peace Vine. It was very, very sad. And I was super worried because what happens now to Sunflower? Because she is exposed and in this open area and we didn't used to have things come in here. So let's light this place up first of all. Security measures! We're going to be smacking lights all over the place. I'm not taking any more risks. Nope, 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 nope. Hello slugs. Hello snails. Hello dragonflies. We're going to be adding you guys to your own little exhibits pretty soon. Alright, let's get in here. Uh, at least we have a lot of garden slugs. Or er, snails. That'll be fun to do the snail races one day. Hmm, you know, we really hadn't lit this place up, so I guess the barn... Old Del, how the heck did you slither in here? How did you do that? You're supposed to be in with the deer. You're supposed to be in with the de No, don't you? Don't you hiss your sassy hiss at me. This is going to be a major construction site. It's no place for a very old little speckled snake, so let's go ahead and put you back where you belong. Oh, that's fine. You can just go ahead and ride on my head then. I get it. I get it. All right, you hang on, sir. Um, hmm. All right, we're gonna have to do it this way, old tail. Uh huh. And then come over here. All right, no, old tail, old tail, come here. He is a very good snake. Look at his beautiful speckles. I love the speckles on this snake, and I love holding snakes. How many of you guys have held snakes? Because they're they're actually really fun to hold. Okay, old tail. Now we're running into a bit of a problem, because you're gonna get smushed in this tree if I try to carry you over here like this. So let me see. Forgive me, tree. It's a security measure. There you go. All right, come here, old tell. Nope, 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 you can't go. I'm pretty sure Christina may not like snakes, so that would be very rude to just like wander into her shop, old tell. All right, now let's put you back in here. You're in charge with this, this cat, apparently, of keeping the rodent population down in our deer exhibit. All right, there you go, buddy. All right, I don't know how he manages. I mean, yes, there's giant gaping holes in our fencing, but I don't know how he manages to uh, slither through and explore quite as much as he does. Maybe that we'll have to ask Calf more about Old Tell's story. Like, how did he meet Old Tell? Where is Old Tell from? Did Old Tell just like slither into into Calf's house, and that's how this all got started? All right, there. Take that, you you evil spawning wolves! You are no longer invited into this area. And my gosh, we do have a lot of little snails. Maybe we'll build like a really cute little snail house garden back here. Because it's not going to take up this entire barnyard for Sunflower to be able to have her perch. It's just going to kind of go right there. And then we can probably turn 
one of these areas into a really cute snail garden. That would be adorable. Oh, I like that idea. And then, of course, we have to figure out a way to make it actually uh, easy to access our temperate bird aviary from over here. Because right now, you basically have to mountain climb. That is not how we... I mean, we're, we're open to all forms of accessibility and making our zoo as easy to access for all visitors as possible. So we're going to have to work on that too. That's also on the list. But as far as Peace Vine Arquaga goes, not all hope is lost it's because... Let me eh, climb up here. My gosh, I'm going to have to make it more accessible just to get around, around my place, let alone the rest of the zoo. I can't even get everywhere I want to go right now. That's just embarrassing, Nightlock. <gasps> ooh, ooh, are you guys ready to harvest? <gasps> this is like one of the favorite parts of my day. I love harvesting these things. I have no clue why. I cannot wait to make those those little those little gardens bigger. I can't wait to make our essence berry bush area and our ore berry bush area. That'll be so fun. But Peace Vine was slain by the wolf, but it's okay because I managed to get some raw quagga meat. This is actually um uh well I, to put it tactfully, the remains of Peace Vine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smack it in the analyzer and see if we're able to get any quagga like from it, like any quagga DNA. And if we are able to, then we can bring back Peace Vine, just like we brought back Bob, and we can have Peace Vine the second. Oh, look at that, some quagga DNA. Well, that was useful. All right, there's one. Anything else? I wonder if it gives quagga DNA every time. Oh, it does! So, I guess we have... Where there was just one piece fine, we now potentially have two. Well, that could get a little interesting. And I need milk. That reminds me. We need a cow! We need a cow much closer than we have a cow. Well, hey, here's one milk bucket to start us off with, at least. So, let's see. What to do, what to do. I need a cow. We, we, I, I can't, I can't work down here without a cow, so I need a lab cow. I just want to keep a cow close by. Alright. Hello, kitty kitties. How are you guys doing today? Captain Kaz, you're really moving around a lot lately. Alright, Lily Tate, one second. I'm just going to pop over with Sunflower to go pick up that tiki cow. Because I, I think it's more important to have a... Oops, whoops. Why, hello there. Did you want some attention, Duzanski? Did you want some attention? There you go. A little ruffle. A little rub on the nose. A little scratch on the back. Is that better? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, and that's the other problem. So, we can't get Pepper inside of the freaking safari net. Or safari. Yeah, see? Not working. Not working. Can't do it. Just can't do it. But, but, you guys told me about something that I had no clue existed. There's pet amulets. Pet amulets that I can make to move any tamed mo creature's animal. And I didn't even know those existed, and I was so embarrassed. But they sure do. In fact, there we go. Here they are. The pet amulet. So we are going to make some pet amulets so that we can move our pepper herd safely over to the new area in our horse meadows where we are going to keep all of our horses. So, well, not all of them. We might keep one or two on the zoo. But we want to have, like, you know, nice open roaming areas where they can be safe and not have werewolves show up and try to eat them. So that's how we're going to move all the peppers, which is totally saves my sanity. Because at first it sounded like a great idea to just smack a saddle on one of our peppers, put leads on the others, and try to get all the way over to the horse meadows. But no, no, that's like, that's like 2,000 blocks away. That's, 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 that's just, that's just not going to work, Pepper. I would go mad with frustration and fury with all the leads breaking and everything like that happening before we even managed to get halfway there. In fact, I don't even think we could make it past Yogi's exhibit before I would just give up. So thankfully, you guys told me about the pet amulet, and we are going to be making it in just a second. Let's see, diamond, gold nuggets. But first, we have to see if we can bring back Peace Vine. All right, Sunflower, let's go get that cow. Do, 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 I love the view from up here above the zoo. I love the view up here above the zoo. And there's the cow. I love how fast it is. Hey, Sarah. Hey, George. We have more interns showing up pretty soon. I got to get to work on that. There's just so much to do here in the zoo. Always so much to do. Cow, I'm going to rename you Lab Cow. You will have a fantastic life. I am so hungry while we're over here. While we're over here, do I have any? Do I have any extra? Do I have any? I do! <gasps> Ooh, a starfruit smoothie! That sounds delicious. Oh my goodness. Um, nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 nom. I guess we're just gonna have to import milk to this area. Alright, come here, sunflower. 
And back above the zoo. Gotta love the view above the zoo. It looks awesome, Sunflower. I love how I can hop on your back and be from one end of the zoo to the other in less than, a, like, a, I can't even get to the chorus of that song. That's how fast you can go. You're amazing, Sunflower. Also, I'm really, I'm paranoid now, so hang on. All these torches. I don't care. I don't care if it puts a bazillion torches down. No more, no more dying animals. No more. Also, yeah, there we go. That, that makes me feel better. There. I mean, yes, they could still wander down from there. But they could do that before and they never had, so why now? Alright, hang on you guys. Winnie really loudly if there's trouble and I'll come running. Oh wait, I still have the cow. Oh yeah, no, cow's going downstairs. Cow's going in the basement. Alright, let's come up through the kitchen. Just check on the kitchen garden. My spices and my ginger are growing wonderfully. Good, good. Strawberries are growing well. Good. Artemis, I still don't know why you decided that you want to be the, the kitchen cat. You had a really good setup with lab chicken downstairs, but that's fine, darling. If you want to be the kitchen cat, you can be the kitchen cat. Alright, then we go downstairs. Hello, Nightlock. Bye, Nightlock. Alright, there we go. Alright. Now, cow, welcome. We're going to have to have a formal uh, greeting session later, but this is going to be your new, like, residence. This is your new domicile. The new area that you will live, cow. And you, um, if you don't mind, will be our lab cow. And you will provide us with lots of milk that we could use for our experiments. And I hope that you can make sure that, um, just, you know, keep inventory. Keep stock of everything. I, I think that you're a good counting cow. That's right. Yeah, you like your numbers. You like keeping things tidy. So if you could make sure that experiment 626, um, and, you know, lab chicken keep everything in order down here, that would be great. And then, you know, just watch out for the occasional Fellosaurus. Sometimes these things explode and spurt water everywhere and a little zombie tries to eat you. Really, it sounds more alarming than it is, trust me. Also, don't knock the stasis pods, please. I, I really don't know what would happen if all of these burst open at once. So do be careful, cow. Do be careful, but welcome. Uh, there will be an awesome nod lie thing to see and I'll try to provide you with, um, with some more greenery and stuff to eat soon, too. Oh, and lab chicken, I hear that you're about to, like, kill right over, so we're gonna go get you some seeds to eat, because Calf said that he can see your health, and it is very low. Look, I have seeds right here. Lab chicken! Experiment, not you. Okay, lab chicken, hang on. There, hopefully that'll heal you up, make you feel better. I'm not feeding Experiment 626 anything now. Let's see. Alright, now let's go get some milk from our new lab cow. Thank you very much, lab cow. And let's see if we can clone Peace Vine. So what happens? Are we almost there? Ooh, we are almost there. Let's go ahead and get more milk from our new milk cow. Which really, we can just come downstairs now if we wanted milk for upstairs too. Lab chicken's feeling better. That makes me feel good. All right, let's put our milk away carefully. There we go. I really should tidy this up. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll work on that. I love all the bones. Oh, and speaking of bones, Let's get out all the compy pieces. What am I thinking? Put away all the, the things that we got when we discovered that lost world with calf. And we are going to... Oh, including the meat. I totally forgot about the meat. Let's start analyzing the meat. Oh, my goodness. Go, go, go. Go, meat, go. Be analyzed. Oh, my goodness. It's kind of morbid, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. All right. There's the compy. Uh, let's put the normal bones down here. And triceratops bones over here. And actually, all of this is from digging around for biofossils. All of the Triceratops bones over here. And then we've got some little compy pieces. And that was from them eating each other, or something like that. Somebody was eating them, that was for sure. So we got our calican eggs. Let's put those away in our egg. Let's see, this is embryo culture. Our egg chamber. I still can't believe Calf just, like, casually handed us the Nautilus DNA. Like, oh, I've got plenty. That man, he is just rich in dinosaur bits and pieces, I swear. All right, what's going on? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. All right, into the embryo vat chamber you go, all of you. This straight up is... It's, it's, oh, my goodness. I guess this is, this, the, they aren't embryos or eggs yet, really, so I guess we actually have to put all of them in here to see if we get anything. <gasps> Look, it's Peace Vine! We have Peace Vine back, you guys! Oh my gosh! So this is going to be like Peace Vine, um, P 
P-spine spine the second. Now we're gonna have two P-spines? What the heck are we gonna do with two P-spines? Also, let's see if we get the Nautilus. I'm really curious now. Uh, and we have, we have our new lab cow. Lab cow is helping out. So I'm really, really curious. So let's see if we can get the Nautilus uh, embryo or the Nautilus egg. That would be so cool. All right, so then over here in the egg chamber, yeah, put those guys away. Um, so I guess we need a DNA chamber, don't we? So we need like genetic, gen oh, oh, I feel like a silly, silly dum-dum now. I totally forgot that we had a DNA chamber. How embarrassing. Oh, look, and we, are, we already had some of their DNA too. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, what else do we have in here? Let's see. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Lots and lots of eggs though. And they don't stack because they're they're precious little eggs. Lots of compy eggs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna learn a lot about compies. You guys have already been sharing quite a bit of amazing information. Please feel free to share more. If you happen to know more about compies, tell us. Tell us because they're so cute. And I say that because look, they're they're tiny and then they have green eggs, and I mean they, they have something to do with green stuff, so of course I'm biased. All right, let's put you here, put you here, put you here, put you here. Did I even get all the compy eggs out? I did. Oh my goodness, there were so many. All right, and let's dig out these bits and pieces. Here is the very important volcanic rock that we are going to need to take for analyzing among the legends, among the people in the paleontology village. So we're going to have to work on that. All right, and then what's going on up y'all? Still working away. Still working away. All right, let's put the bones away. Not the DNA chamber. Um, you know what? We need an actual proper, like, bone area to store all this stuff. What am I doing? Pack that. Oh, this is a whole different animal. Pachylosaurus. Put these guys here. Are these compy. Yeah, leg and arm bones. Vertebrae. Some of this. Some feet. There we go. All right. How are we doing over here? Oh my goodness, look at all of this. Well, this is very exciting on the DNA front of things. So how are we doing on the Nautilus? Doing good. Okay, probably gonna have, what are we gonna, like, how are we gonna name the two piece vines? Cause they're identical clones of each other. Like, oh no, oh no, help. Oh no, cow, why? Lab cow. Oh my goodness. Well, now I'm hasty. Cause I'm covered in milk. Thank you, I guess. I, I needed the milk, but not the whole the whole laboratory flooded with milk, lab cow. We're gonna have to discuss these things, really. All right, and how we doing? How we doing here? Hmm, doing good. I'm really, I really want to see if we get the Nautilus DNA. That's gonna be so exciting. All right, so then the next question is, I feel like we need to bring Peace Vine back. So bring back at least like Peace Vine the second and Peace Vine the second, Mach two, version two. Well, but then what if they have, like, what if they start some horrible clone conflict? So I guess we're going to keep, like, what if the, the Peace Vine, the second, the second, gets upset that they're always the second? And, you know, they're like, but I am as much of the original Peace Vine as Peace Vine the second. And so what if that starts, like, some sort of war among the Quagga Lab Chicken? And who knows what that could lead to? So for now, Lab Chicken, we're going to play it safe. And we're going to leave one of the Peace Vines in the Embryo Culture Vat. There we go. All right. So we'll leave one in the embryo culture vat and we'll put the other. All right, so uh, we'll leave this one. We know that that is peace vine right there. That's peace vine. We're gonna leave peace vine over there. This is also peace vine. <laughs> so we will bring back peace vine the second. Uh, oh, thank you very much for your donation to the uh, egg chamber lab chicken. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will leave the other one in here for emergencies in case anything happens to Peace Vine the second. So there we go. All right, Nautilus, come on. Don't taunt me, we're so close. We can do this, buddy. We can do this. Keep going, please. All right, and then what should we do with these biofossils? Hmm, for now, I'm gonna put them in here. We really do need a bone box, don't we? Ancient plant specimens, archeological processing, shifted, like sifted scraps, DNA chamber. We need like, like this is our general box. We really do need, I think right here. All right, let's pop this out. Come here, come here. Eh, come on. Peck, 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 peck. There we go. 
Let's move the jukebox. Don't worry, you guys. I know it means a lot to you. So let's just move the jukebox like over here. Put the bones. Mm -hmm. Listen to bones. There we go. Oh, yeah. And then we'll put another another chest right here. Yeah. We should make a little stand for like that little guy that we found, the little half a porcelain figure. All right, do I have any other chests? Let's see. Let's see. Minecart. Oh, no, those are minecarts and tracks. Might as well read what you have. Ah, there we go. Iron chest. Sweet. I love our sorting system because I can actually find the things I need. It's amazing, Nightlock. It's just amazing. You're a good cat. All right, let's come down here and blink, and then we are going to do um. I want to say DNA chamber, archaeological process, into plant specimens. Um, fossil, fossil frenzy. Let's see. Okay. Hey, I'm supposed to be able to type on that, you know. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Nope. There, that's better. That's what I thought. Um, fossil findings and bones there we go mm, to the point but it has a little bit of alliteration like i love all right come here you guys we're gonna scoot you all over oh my goodness just get in there we go there we go all right and then more bones we'll be back for you guys and then i will sort out this mess of bones later this is like this is like a paleontologist's worst dream just chucking all the different dinosaur bones and bits and pieces together in a box there we go i'll sort this later there we go got it all right now the moment of truth experiment 626 were you successful were you successful yes oh my gosh it's a living nautilus you guys oh my goodness we're gonna put it i guess since it's a living nautilus it's going in the stasis chamber so shh, sleep well sleep i feel like i feel i feel so okay we're gonna put it here it's in the stasis chamber and i'm a little worried about it I wish I had- do I have any water? Do I have any water anywhere? Cause I mean it's like a- there we go. Okay, I got some water. Okay. Alright, there. There! Now it's in a little thing of water. It should be okay. But there you go you guys! So, we now have our amazing lab cow! And we have cloned Peace Vine, the quagga who died. And we have a living Nautili! So that's so exciting! That means that we'll be able to start working on this awesome place pretty soon. Oh, that's gonna be awesome! I'm so excited! There we go! Good, 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 good. Alright, so next up is going to be making the pet amulets and moving all of the peppers! I can't wait! I can't wait. All right, so I'm gonna feed the cats and make sure that everyone's doing well And I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow for the last of our animal moving day Oh, it's gonna be so cool night It is just gonna be awesome. All right guys. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye